The facts are very, very clear. The United States is heading toward a debt crisis. The only solutions will be truly painful for us all. That doesn't have to be our future. The way we respond to this challenge will ultimately define our generation. We can choose a path to prosperity. Let's take a look at how we can do it. Our debt as a share of the economy is already too high, but look at where it's going. These are actually pretty conservative estimates. We face a crushing burden of debt, which will take down our economy. It will lower our living standards. Actually, I asked the Congressional Budget Office to model the economy going forward. So they have these computer programs that simulate the US economy. The computer program crashes in 2037 because it can't conceive of any way in which the US economy can continue because of this massive burden of debt. You know, the economists tell us when your debt gets to 90% as a share of your economy, you start slowing down and we stagnate. We prevent that from ever happening. Here's what would happen under our proposed budget, what we're calling the path to prosperity. As you can see, we won't come anywhere close to the tipping point and we'll pay off the debt over time. So how will we do it? We will cut spending. Washington's unsustainable spending is driving the nation's permanent plunge into debt. Look at the growth of government under the current path we are on. The government grows to such high levels that by the time my three children are my age, the government will be twice the size for them than what it is for me. Our plan brings spending back down to the historic level of 20% as a share of our economy. Washington has not been telling you the truth. If we don't reform spending on government health and retirement programs, we have zero hope of getting our spending and as a result, our debt crisis under control. Next year, the government spends 68 cents out of every dollar you pay in taxes just to pay for these health and retirement programs and interest on the debt. By the year 2025, they will consume every penny of every tax dollar you send to Washington. Our budget saves and strengthens these programs. It fixes the flaws in Medicare and Medicaid that have made rising costs nearly impossible to check. This is the only way these programs can hope to survive and function into the future. Look, we have a choice of two futures. We know the path we are on right now. That's the path the president's proposing. A debt crisis, no health and retirement security, a diminished future, a stagnant country, less jobs, less prosperity. That is not the America we know. We can choose this other path, but we have to make that choice. We can lift the crushing burden of debt off of our children and grandchildren, and we can get this economy growing today. It is up to our generation to pick this path. The question is, will we do it or not? It is up to us.